Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to mod Dark Souls on the Xbox 360. And the first thing you're going to want to do is take a USB drive, plug it into your Xbox, and format it for the Xbox, and the Xbox will do that for you. And once you want to do that, once you've done that, just make a new character on Dark Souls, and then just save it. Don't you don't have to play on it or anything. Just save that character, and then go to your uh, system settings, and then go to storage and go to your hard drive and find Dark Souls save and then move it to your flash drive. And once you do, once you've done that, you can uh take it out, put it back in your computer. And you're going to need two programs to mod it. It's USB Explorer to get the save off and then a Dark Souls save editor to actually mod the file. And you're going to down download this not this and then just that right there and once you've done that you open up USB Explorer file open USB drive data partition content that one and that I think yep and then once you have found Drax 0005 just extract it to your desktop I already had it up there. And then once you've done that, open up Dark Souls Remake, open file, and then open the drag save. And your user data is your just character slot. User data would be your first character. Num one would be character slot two, and number three would be character slot two, and so on. You hit OK. You can change the name to whatever you want. Enable all warp bonfire rest. Change gender. Change class. Change your gift. Physique. Change your covenant. You can max all your st statistics. Max souls. You can do high level PvP. Medium level PvP and low level PvP. We'll just leave it at 125. And then you can add anything into your inventory by hitting add items. And you can add anything you want, you just gotta type it in and then it'll find it for you. So if I want I don't know, Logan's Catalyst. Type in Logan. Or Logan. Get both of his catalysts and hit add. Or if you want Havel's armor. Just type in Havel. Get all of his armor. Hit add. And it has basically every item in the entire game they could possibly think of except for anything in the DLC. That it does not have. And then when you're done with that just hit save as and you can uh, just save it you can replace it I do recommend making a backup just in case the save goes corrupt because then you'd be screwed out of any other actual characters they've been playing on so yeah and then once uh you got all modded and all the items that you've want that you wanted you're going to uh open up USB Explorer again. Open USB drive data partition content E four. And when you get back to your uh save, just delete that. And then hit inject and then inject the modded file back in and hit file close current drive and then you are done you just gotta put the flash drive back into your xbox and then you can uh... drag it back over into your hard drive or just keep on the flash drive doesn't matter and as i said don't forget to back it up or else you could be screwed but it's not likely that that will happen 
and that is it.